All right, thank you. Um, let's get started. Uh, my name is Chung Sugi. I'm uh, taking charge of developing SSD ref reference system in Samsung. And um, I have a co-speaker, Toko Obe. So um, today we are going to talk about the current status of our Poseidon project and uh, our next challenges, uh, terabyte scale reference systems. So we started um, Poseidon project in 2019. And at that time, we contributed Mission Peak, which is the NGSF reference system to the OCP. And we announced the Poseidon version one in 2020, and we announced the Poseidon version two, which is E3 reference system in 2021. This year's 2022, we finished contribution of Poseidon version one specification to OCP community. And we will contribute um, Poseidon version two contribution next year, 23. So the, one of the purpose of the Poseidon version two is to expand EDSF E3 um, ecosystem. Since EDSF E3 has so flexible power and space and, and um, various different kind of um, devices, um, you can compose uh, your system uh, with uh, various devices also. For example, with a 24 E3 SSD, you can have high performance charger storage system, where uh, with a memory spender or a smart NIC, um, the system can be used as a high memory server for cloud or AI ML um, servers. If you have a um, 128 terabyte QSD SSD, the system can literally have uh, three terabyte of capacity in a one system. To achieve that goal, we designed the two different kind of a backplane. One in a backplane is um, it has the PCI jam uh, by four, uh, 24 um, slots. The another backplane has um, eight by eight slots with uh, by four, eight PCI slots. The reason we have by eight backplane is to support uh, CXL or smart SSD devices. Also, the system can accommodate all the E3 form factors, E3.S, 1T, 2T, and E3.L, 1T, and 2T. With the E3.L uh, form factor, you, the device can have um, up to 70 watt of power, um, and it can be used by various um, different devices, like a CXL or accelerators. Um, so um, we, are, we will um, contribute this system design um, next year. And I'd like to talk about, about uh, our next journey and next reference system um, that we are preparing right now. Um, as the density of a device increases, um, the total capacity of a single system is increased as well. So as I said, um, without 128 terabytes of a QRC, um, you can have three petabytes of a capacity in one system. And that system can be used as a server storage system in the shared network, uh, network uh, storage cluster. With the petabyte scale system, um, we see a, um, we are, there are a lot of challenges that we need to solve. Um, mainly there are three categories. One is the TCO, a performance, and reliability. There are the areas we are looking at right now. Our customers or users of the data center want to decrease the total TCO of the old fresh storage system with a high capacity. And performance, um, to protect the data on your system, you will need a RAID or erasure coding, but the performance of the um, RAID, is, RAID is really poor. And with the RAID, initialization time and rebuilding time is really important. And with the petascale uh, system, it will take long time to finish the rebuilding of the RAID system. And high CPU utilization, 
Um, to calculate the parity bit, um, you will need high performance and expensive CPU um, <coughs> um, to, um, uh, to serve the um, rate of the beta scale system. On the reliability, um, for meta and buffer memory, you will need a lot of uh, memories to, uh, for the uh, meta and buffer. And sometimes MVDIM is used, but there's a problem with MVDIMs because you cannot have sortable and it doesn't support the high capacity of the memory. So how we can solve these challenges with a petascale system? We want to lower the CPU uh, from the two socket to um, single socket system or uh, we can deploy the DPU uh, to the system to lower the uh, TCO. We also want to decrease the memory. So current Poseidon system use about 20, 150 gigabytes of memory uh, for the buffering cache. But we want to decrease the memory like um, 64 gigabyte. Also, we want to change the media of the SSD from TLC to QLC and we can inspect lower the authorities of the system. Second is the performance. Um, last year, uh, we shared the performance issues with the RAID system. If you look at the chart there uh, with the RAID 5, if you compare with the performance between the RAID 0 and RAID 5, you can only get um, 4, per 4 or 6 percent of the performance compared to RAID 0. So local performance of RAID is really poor because the CPU is the bottleneck. So we have studied extensively how we can solve this problem and we are looking at hardware accelerators to improve the, our um, IO performance of the system. Third, um, reliability. Samsung has a project to develop the battery back SSD device. With a CXL SSD, you can have the persistent mode. Persistent mode CXL and SSD could replace our SCM of the system, and this is the one area we are looking at uh, to replace the uh, persistent memory for the petabyte scale system. The another <coughs> area that we are looking at is the uh, reusable and easily replaceable system like a tool list at SSA Design we presented and introduced last year. So in summary, um, to develop petascale um, SSD storage system, we will, uh, we'd like to reduce the CCO and improve the performance and reliability with these um, technologies. Lastly, um, we have um, analysis our system extensively from system level to device level. With the SSD, uh, signal integrity is the very important, like DRAM SI, NAND SI, and PCI SI. Sometimes if you have a problem on your device, our engineers um, look at the signal integrity uh, individually not with the host system. But with the Poseidon system, we wanted need to diagnose both host system and our devices together, and we developed SS SDDP, System and Device Diagnosis Platform. So with this platform, you can, ha you can um, analyze with both um, environmental uh, condition of the host site and the device size also. So we, want, we hope to work together with our customers, our data centers, who are interested in our um, SDDP platform. And we hope to test together next year. With that, um, I'd like to pass my mic to Doko. Hello. Uh I'm Doko Bae, and I'm in charge of the software part for Poseidon project. 
And today, uh, I briefly, um, briefly share the, what's the, the new in Poseidon OS and what's the next milestone. Mm, Poseidon OS is basically a environment fabric reference system and which runs on Linux kernel. It maintains multiple MVM SSDs in a single storage box and provide high performance and reliable IOs to the initiators. And we are first, uh, we will release the very first version of Poseidon OS uh, in first quarter of 2021. And since then, we continue to improve it. Um, Poseidon project is relied on three-way collaboration among data center and SSD vendor like Samsung and server OTM. So we add more features and more performance based on the our partners' requirements. So so far, uh, Poseidon OS newly supports uh, valuable features like uh, telemetry provisioned IOPS and uh, probability replication and more related options like LASIX. Also, uh, it supports up to two gigabyte, two gigabit uh, performance with PCI Gen 4 servers. And uh, recently, uh, in order to encourage contributions from uh, outside contributors, we open our CI infra and testing and pro profiling tools to the public GitHub, uh, which are mandatory for developers. So you can access uh, Poseidon OS code uh, on the public GitHub, so feel free to access it. And I will share the roadmap of Poseidon OS and we wanted to uh, support high density and co with cost effective so with cost effective so we wanted to leverage QRC SSDs with uh, having GNS interfaces so and also we have a plan to enable um, PCI Gen 5 performance uh, the target performance would be 400 gigabyte Ethernet with PCI Gen 5 server. And also we adapt, we will adapt CXL device like CXL expander and compared to DRAM, it allows to, uh, it allows to maintain in-memory metadata with in cost-effective manner for Poseidon OS. And lastly, uh, as I mentioned, Poseidon OS is for uh, the solution for a single storage server, single storage box. So it requires the upper orchestration layer like distributed storage system. So we will integrate with them uh, to show benefits of Poseidon system, especially in terms of uh, environment fabric uh, storage box uh, for disaggregate infra. And Okay, with that, um, so we want to take the uh, extensive competitive uh, analysis on Pascal system, um, TCO failure performance power, and, and for the new design concept. So um, we'd like to really work with uh, industry partners to solve uh, those challenges together. So um, um, also um, SDDP, we want to run together with our customer how the uh, platform is useful in the real data center environment. And please um, email me. And Poseidon OS is on GitHub. And you can um, email to Doco um, if you have any um, questions. Okay. With that, um, do you have any questions?